Welcome to the 15th video in this series on HTML and CSS. Up to this point we've done almost everything has been HTML and we haven't looked at CSS yet. Well CSS is important because it's what makes the HTML look visually appealing. HTML as you've seen before is quite bland and can be quite dull but uh, let's say spice it up a bit we can use CSS. The first way I'm going to show you how to use CSS is what's called inline cascading style sheets. That, by the way, if you didn't know, is what CSS stands for. And it's called this because of the order of preference that it delivers things in. But we'll go into this in more detail later. For now, I'm just going to show you a few examples. So to say that we want to use CSS, we call style. And we're going to say what that style is equal to. We need to open up our speech marks. And we're going to say... Um, we're going to change the color on this one. Um, we're going to use the colon to denote which color and we're just going to use the color red for now. And as a matter of practice, I always like to end it with a semicolon here. Uh, you don't have to, but if there's only one line, but it's good practice if you do so. So I suggest just typing what I type. So we're going to end that there. We're going to end this tag. We're going to say this is in red. And we're going to close our h1 tag here. Save it, load. And there you go. This is in red. Say so we wanted to choose another color here. We'll go for blue. And there you go, it's in blue. So we wanted to change the body. Uh, we're going to go style equals and now we want to send the background color so if this we don't use the color that's just for text if we want to change the background we have to go background color we we'll use the colon again and we're going to set it as black and again it's good practice to end that there we're going to save it open it up and there you go we have a nice black background uh, for now that's really all I wanted to show you about CSS. I just wanted to give you an example of what it is and how it could work but this is what's called inline CSS and we're going to be using external style sheets later on. I'm going to show you in the next tutorial what these are and how we're going to use them. This is just a quick example, a brief introduction to some of the syntax in CSS and I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.